Chomp. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to UR Supreme Toys. Today, we've got a kind of weird review. Uh, I'm not going to say Strawberry Shortcake is weird, but this is typically not the brand type I would collect. So we're going to do a four for one in this review because I think, for the most part, these characters have a lot of similar accessories and probably the same type of articulation. So we have Boss Fight Studios, of all people, bringing us Strawberry Shortcake 6-inch collectible action figures. And I think that's mainly because a few of the core owners of Boss Fight are women who probably loved Strawberry Shortcake as they were kids. And I can't blame them. It's a fantastic line. It had a great little cartoon series in the 1980s and has been constantly reinvented over the past 40 years. And believe it or not, the 1980s gave us a pretty substantial Strawberry Shortcake figure collection with a few dozen different characters in that line. So it's pretty cool to finally see some modern collector quality action figures based on that 1980s property because we really don't see that much anymore considering how often it's been rejuvenated and redesigned typically you would see more modern type strawberry shortcake items now boss fights typically known for their action figures they started with their vitruvian hacks which was it's been a decade now since those came out and they were pretty successful They've gone on to get a few different licenses like Pi Pi, Bucky O'Hare, most recently Fraggle Rock, which I can't wait to see. And I don't know, I expected these guys to be a little shorter than this, so I'm quite surprised at the scale. I didn't know they were going to be doing a six inch scale line. So we have Strawberry Shortcake herself, Lemon Chiffon, Huckleberry Pie, and Orange Blossom. These boxes are humongous. They are way too big. I know that it's all about presentation. Boss Fight's really big on their packaging. They they do really good packaging. But I just feel like it could have been nudged down to about two-thirds the size of this box. There's a lot of space here you don't need. A lot of space here you don't need. A lot of this stuff could have been shoved off into the wayside. I feel like if you could see Custard here and strawberry shortcake the rest of the accessories could have been shoved off to the side as most of them are hidden behind this little paneling here anyway that being said the packagings do look good they're definitely considered of the smelling feature of these action figures because if I bring this box in you will see these little perforated holes here going to the figure with a very sweet scent sticker next to it so you can stick your nose right there and get a big whiff of fake strawberry smell and this is the same for everybody like huckleberry pie here you can smell him and you know sort of blueberry-ish and then uh orange blossom is huh orangey-ish not quite like orange but orangey-ish <laughs> and then of course lemon chiffon which is hidden in the back because these boxes are so massive I don't know, maybe a lime, that might be lime, I don't know what that, that, that is. Uh, but anyway, these guys look pretty good. These are shelf killer packages. Unless you like your stuff on a shelf like a book, you know, you're not going to be able to really display these characters in the box. So, the typical retail price for these was $39.99, 40 bucks. I was able to get them at a slight discount from the Hobby Hub. They had them listed for $34.99 with free shipping over $100. So if you're interested, they still have some in stock. And you can find those at the hobhub.com. So, and they were very fast. They got these guys to me in literally four days. Of course, uh, I don't know where they were coming from. But that's about the fastest shipping I've ever gotten in a long time. They feature the strawberry shortcake design from the original... 80s merchandise. I really wish they would have given each character their own box. For instance, I would have liked to have seen Orange Blossom here with her design on the front of the box. I felt like that would have been a little bit better. On the side, we've got a little picture of Strawberry Shortcake's action figure. Same on that side. And in the back, we've got this big old blurb 
of strawberry shortcake with custard and all of her accessories and collect them all with all the characters available at the bottom and of course we've got her bio here strawberry shortcake is a perpetual optimist her day begins and ends with a smile with lots of laughter in between she lives in an uncomplicated simple country life she is direct honest and rarely sees beyond the next sunbeam she appeals to the young at heart in all of us her appearance and demeanor are refreshing her lifestyle reflects a back to the simple life philosophy strawberry shortcake is usually accompanied by her polka dot kitten custard custard is a playful little rascal strawberry is neat orderly and well behaved while custard is just the opposite she's perfectly suited to strawberry's temperament <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. oh my gosh that's uh, adorable <laughs> huckleberry pie here despite his feminine appearance and design this is indeed a boy these characters are supposed to be like six or seven years old so you know, take them for what they are. His box is pretty much the same as everybody else's with his picture on the back and his dog, Pupcake. His little bio is a lot shorter. <laughs> you can tell this is a guy character is a lot shorter than uh, Strawberry Shortcake's. Huckleberry Pie is Strawberry Shortcake's neighbor. He's a bit messy and always looking for fun. He loves a good joke, going fishing, playing and just having a good time. He reluctantly helps Strawberry with her chores, but usually ends up having lots of fun. Huck's buddy is his dog, Pupcake. They both enjoy taking life easy and getting into good-natured mischief. Aw, oh, ain't he a sweetheart? And then we got Orange Blossom. Again, pretty much the same packaging. Got her little bio here. Orange Blossom is sweet, shy, and very humble. She is quite an artistic talent, and everyone in Strawberry Land knows they can count on her creative expertise. She is often very soft-spoken, and lets her beautiful works of art speak for themselves. She is very well liked by all, even though she is a quiet observer. Whenever you see Orange Blossom, you can be sure that her friend Marmalade the butterfly is not far away. Marmalade barely makes a sound coming or going, and never speaks, but is Orange's constant companion. Yay! And then finally we have Lame Chiffon. And yep, 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 pretty much same packaging. A little bit of shorter bio. Some would call Lame Chiffon a dreamer. She prefers to think of herself as simply having high aspirations. Their shared love of the arts has resulted in a close relationship with Orange Blossom. She loves to dance and does so everywhere she goes, but is often quite shy. As a matter of fact, the main reason why Parfait and Lime Chiffon have become so close is that Parfait does most of the talking for the two of them. Let's go ahead and pop all these guys out of the box and see how they turn out. All right, there is a lot here. These guys come pretty packed with accessories. I guess we'll go ahead and start with the lady herself, Strawberry Shortcake. All right, these figures are extremely top heavy. This hat is very heavy, like half the weight is in her head. You're gonna have a hard time standing these guys up just on their own, except for in maybe a straight standing pose. But you know, you try to go get super articulated here you're gonna probably gonna need the stands all of them come with a little stand by the way that you can peg into the bottom of their feet I feel like these are not quite animated not quite art it's 
sort of like a nice mishmash of the different versions of Strawberry from the 80s. Her design did vary a little bit from, you know, the TV specials to the animated series, I believe. I think these figures look cute and adorable. They're supposed to be little kids in little sundresses and and hats and having fun. I think that's probably the best part of these. They're just adorable little figures. As soon as you put that hat on her head, though, it's like, wow. Of course, little kids have huge heads and they fall over a lot, so it makes sense. Her paint is pretty good. I like the painted eyes and freckles and the mouth. Everything's pretty simple. The little heart patches are tampoed on pretty good. She has a little bit of run over with the white on front of her apron going over to the red. Everything else seems to match pretty good. I love the striped leggings. She's got sculpted bloomers, <laughs> which are pretty cool. Little shoes are pretty nifty. There are some reused parts between these figures. The paint apps are pretty bare minimum. I think they're what they should be for what they are. This hat is massive. I feel like they tried to lighten the weight by hollowing it out, but it comes to a point where what do you do? You you make a lumpy piece of plastic that topples her head over or you do soft goods. The original dolls from the 80s all had soft goods clothes and hats so they didn't have that problem. So articulation. We got a good head bobble. She's only a little ball socket there. The heads aren't exactly meant to pop out so I wouldn't try. I'd be afraid of breaking that little peg. That is a pretty small peg for a big head. Her shoulders go up pretty good. And they swivel and hinge up. She's got a hinged elbow, which doesn't quite go 90, but it does okay. And then she's got swivel and hinge hands, which, you know, give her some mime-like abilities. As far as the waist, there is a bobble up inside of the stomach. I don't know if you can see that. So she can get some decent little bobble and twist up there. And then she has a somewhat limited hip range of motion. Like that's as far apart as her hips will go. That's about as far up as her hips will go. So there's not a lot of hip motion there. So she's going to be limited with that. She does have the hinged knees, which are also somewhat limited. They do not go quite 90. And then, of course, she has the swivel and hinged rocker feet, which are pretty good. I feel like the feet might be a tad loose. They're not quite tight. They're not quite loose. But because of the weight of the figure, it might be a little complicated to get her to stand. Without the hat, whoop, you might can get her to stand. But as soon as you put this hat on, boom. And this hat is massive. Uh, I don't know why the hat does not fit well on her head. For instance, it just goes right over her face. Um, you can rest it like this, and it looks right, but a little bit too far, and it'll slip over. So that's not the best hat, I think. The other three seem to have pretty decent hats, but we'll get to that. Now, accessories. These guys come with accessories. Strawberry comes with Custard, her little polka dotted cat. He looks like a stuffed animal. He's got little seams sculpted and painted going up the back of his head and front of his body and everything. Kind of like uh, something you see from Winnie the Pooh. These are all slug figures. There's nothing articulated about them. So it's just a standard little cat figure. I think it does its job. The paint apps are pretty good. Not too bad. Got polka dots all over polka dots everywhere all the way up to the tail this is actually a pretty nice little slug figure I think it's adorable she comes with a tea kettle this is a nice little kettle I'd be cautious this handle is soft plastic but I could still see it breaking from playing with it and bending it and trying to fit it in the hands because it is very thin at this point in this point but other than that, it's got this nice little strawberry symbol painted on it. It looks very vintage. I really like that each of the figures comes with a basket of fruit. Strawberry comes with a basket of strawberries. This is an excellently sculpted wicker basket with a towel wrapped around it with full of strawberries. This is, this is a great looking piece. 
If you've got a, a six or seven inch scale action figure display and you need a picnic full of strawberries, here you go. This is a great piece. Looks wonderful. She also comes with a small plate of strawberry shortcake. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. It looks like a strawberry shortcake. It's cleanly painted. I mean, it's not super hyper detailed, but it's does its job. Looks delicious. Every figure comes with this green spoon with leaves on the end. So this is not unique to strawberry. All four will have this spoon. It is a softer plastic. I guess she'll need something to eat her strawberry ice cream on these little leaves. Everybody comes with their own flavor ice cream on leaves. Then everybody comes with their own little comb. This is a throwback to the vintage dolls. And there's a tiny strawberry sculpted on it. So all these combs, although they look the same, are not the same because they'll have their own individual fruits sculpted on the handle. She comes with four extra hands. She's got two gripping hands and two little like, I don't even know what you'd call these, just hands. And then she has the two little like gestured hands attached to her in the package. These guys have swappable faces. Why such elongated potato heads? I do not know. But if you want to pop a different expression on, you can. They peg into place. You have a winking, smirking head, and then a laughing head. And then last but not least, her stand. See how she sits on it? Stands pretty good. Yep. Let's see how these hands swap out. Pop off really easily. I'm going to give her a little gripping hand. So that she can have her spoon. And that fits in her hand very well. And I guess if you wanted, maybe this hand is more for gripping her plate. So she can have some strawberry shortcake. Not the best, but it, it, it seems to work okay. Now to change faces, you have to pop her hair off. The faces should pop off. We'll put on her laughing head. See how that fits. That goes on very snug. Then you just pop the hair back on. Now you got a laughing strawberry shortcake. she's so top heavy you're gonna have to have these stands <laughs> that hat is annoying the hat is probably the worst part of this figure they should have just made this two pieces so it fits snugly to the head because I don't think the other three are gonna have anything near this problem and let's bring in orange blossom all right she has the same problem she's super top heavy because of her head her sculpt is pretty nice I like her dress. She's got little flowers painted on it pretty good. I don't know what you call this, a shawl wrapped around her neck. She's pretty much the same from the legs down as Strawberry Shortcake. Same shoes, same legs. I like her hat. It looks really nice. I like the seams. The sculpts are nice and clean on these figures. I gotta say, I, I like the sculpt and design. It's interesting how they did her hat. As you can see underneath, they sculpted it so that it snugs onto her hair. So they tried the same thing with Strawberry's hat, but on the front and back of the brim. But I just feel like, I feel like they could have did the hollow thing, but with a piece on the bottom like this, they could have been two pieces and that would have took care of that problem with the hat flipping on and off. But maybe they wanted it to slide over her head for a particular looks. Orange Blossom's hair sculpt is really good. I like the curls. It looks really nice. Articulation is going to be the same, except her head's going to be a little bit limited because of this thing. So, and her arms are going to be a little limited because of that thing. I feel like she's got better arm articulation because she does not have the sleeves. And she pretty much has the same lower body articulation. That's bad. I don't know if you can see that, but that hip, the paint was stuck. 
and got scratched. So, well, that looks bad. They're on a ball joint socket on the hips, and it sort of limits the range of motion that they can do. But the articulation's okay. All the way down to the feet. She's a lot tighter than in Strawberry Shortcake. Pretty much the same. Watch how this hat fits. It just snugs right on. And it just fits. It just fits well. I just wish that she wasn't so top heavy. Now she has a plethora of accessories herself. I like her little artboard with her bezel. I think it looks pretty good. She was painting an orange, and that's tampoed on there pretty cleanly. The bezel feels kind of cheap, so other than using this as a display piece and just you know, having it stand there, I wouldn't try to do anything else with it. Be cautious of storing it in a box or a bag, because if you put something heavy on it, you're going to bend and maybe crease or break this back panel right here. She comes with marmalade, her butterfly, and this, this butterfly looks pretty good. Again, she has this uh, seam design going down the front like a little stuffed animal and the sides. And these wings are tampoed on pretty good. Pretty straightforward looking design. Looks like it's made of fondant in some areas. <laughs> very 80s. Very 80s style. She stands pretty good. This is a very solid figure. She again comes with her own basket of oranges and these baskets are just fantastic. And everybody's basket is somewhat different. I like this wicker design. They sculpted it out very well. And the little oranges in there look pretty good. Nice little handle. This is a very solid piece. The handle is a little bit softer, so, you know, just watch out for that. She comes with her own little flavor orange ice cream on leaves. The same green spoon that everybody has. And her orange comb. They give her a paint palette and a paintbrush, which I think looks great. It's a wooden, simple wooden palette. And there's lots of different colors on there. It's got a hole for her thumb. And of course, orange paint on the paintbrush. She also comes with four extra hands. She has the same hands that everybody else does, attached to them in the package and out of the package. So she's got these two little waving hands, or two gripping hands. She has an orange display stand and two alternate faces. One where she's licking her lips and one where she's smiling. So just like Strawberry, you pop the hat off. The hair on her is pretty tight. I don't know how. <laughs> don't, uh, all right, you gotta kind of like shove it up towards the front and then pry it off. Oh, her, wow. So be careful when doing that, that you don't scrape the paint on the face but you really have to like maneuver it all the way up to pop it off. That's kind of a uh, tight but annoying. And of course you slip her face cover off. A little complicated, it's a little snug. And you pop her alternate face on. Goes on pretty good. So you gotta push this up. Pop it into place. Slip it up. A little bit complicated because her hair is very tight. So let's see how she stands. Her stand keeps her pretty solid. Swap her hands out and see if she can hold. I gotta say for six-year-old she's a great artist so you can have her painting her little portrait and I think she's great just so you know like since I've opened these there's this pretty pretty constant fragrance of fake fruits flowing through the air from all four of these figures all right next we got Huckleberry Pie and I gotta say he was probably the selling point for this set for me I just really like this design he's probably the second most unique sculpt his hands are different from everybody else's he's got maybe the same forearms and maybe the same upper legs but everything else is a different sculpt 
And I like the paint apps. They're pretty simple. The little cuffs on his pants are painted striped. Got a little kerchief here painted. The little buttons on his uh, overalls painted. He's got a blueberries. I guess those are blueberries. And I like the sculpt of this hat. This straw hat looks fantastic. A little bit loose on the shoes. But he's definitely not as top heavy as Orange Blossom or Strawberry. So articulation. His little kerchief is going to kind of hinder what he can do with the neck. But you can still get him to move and look around. Of course he's got his hinged and swiveled shoulders. His elbows. Hinge. And then his hinged and swivel wrist. He has this waist bobble here which is pretty good does decent for the type of figure he is and then he has the best range of motion as far as hips are concerned I don't know why the other two are so limited but he can get pretty dynamic poses considering it's just a simple ball joint um, and he's got his hinged knees and then the hinge and rocker ankles but his legs and feet are kind of loose. He also comes with his little pup cake. Again, he's got that stuffed animal look with the seams running down the back. I feel like uh, Custard is probably the best one so far out of all of them as far as looks. But he looks okay. He's just a standard little goofy looking dog with a green and white tail and ears. He's got this nice little wicker basket full of blueberries this is insane this is a wonderful looking basket uh, the sculpt on this is fantastic it's just overflowing with berries again it's got a softer handle so you know the same green spoon it comes with a blueberry fish two alternate faces a winking head and a smiling head his pink stand pink ice cream I feel like it should be blue. I don't know why it's pink. He's got his two gripping hands and his two waving hands. He has his blueberry comb and then he has a big hunk of blueberry pie on a plate. Comes with a fishing rod with a hook on it. Now I don't know why they decided to make this in one piece piece of plastic. This could have been a string they didn't even need to put a hook on it because, you know, I thought maybe the fish would attach to it, but there's no way to attach the fish to the hook. I felt like that's a missed opportunity. They could have made the hook part of the fish and then just had it attached to the string from the fishing rod to the fish. So, you know, eh, missed opportunity, I think. Because it, it, it's sculpted in a way that there's weight on the line, like he's caught something. And I feel like, you know, you can't just pose him with the fishing rod out straight because this line is solid so no matter what it's just going to be solid string his hat fits snugly on his head this is probably the best fitting hat it just fits right on his head you, it's so snug that you can hold him by the hat I wouldn't advise that but you can do it and if you want to swap his faces it just pops off his hair pops off pretty easy we're gonna go with his winking head. Pop his hair back on. Pop his hat back on. He's ready to go, bud. Ready to go. Got his pinky out for some reason. Not really sure why. He really didn't need the extra hands. I feel like the ones he has attached to him in the package are sufficient. Or probably anything you'd need to do so you give him his fishing rod I wish you had a way to hold the fish I guess you hold it by the tail like that Huckleberry Pie is probably my favorite so far out of this set it's outdoorsy character and lastly we've got Lime Chiffon and I like this green. I like this neon green. I'm always a fan of neon colors. This pink and green looks fantastic. Uh, her hat's kind of sloppy looking. It's sort of designed like maybe a two layer cake with some striping. The striping's kind of messy all over the place. It's not very clean. But 
you know, it's you're, from a distance you're not going to really notice. It's got this big, chunky bow on the top. Like, it's ridiculous how chunky it looks. Looks like an eraser. Mm, her hair is sculpted pretty nicely. She's got a simple little dress. It's not split down the sides like Strawberries is. Her leg just fell off. Well, better than breaking. Fortunately, it pops back in. Pretty good. The dress is painted pretty simply. It's got little flowers painted white and pink around the rim. Again, the same legs and stuff as Orange Blossom and Strawberry Shortcake. The shoes are different, though. They're more of a slipper. She looks pretty good. She's still top-heavy. Her articulation is pretty standard, pretty the same as everybody else's. Got the neck swivel, which is going to be kind of hindered by the little shoulder pads on her dress. Shoulders. Elbows. Hands. The waist bobble. That leg wants to pop off for some reason. It's not. It's just not on there all the way. Yeah. Hinged knees. Her joints are kind of messed up. And tight. And then, of course, the hinged and rocked feet. Okay. I don't know why the leg on this figure keeps doing this. It's becoming a problem. She's got some articulation issues. Pretty much the same face, really, as Strawberry Shortcake. When you look at it, yeah, it's the same exact face. I wonder if that's intentional. Lime Chiffon comes with Parfait the Parrot. He's got some weird eyes. This is a creepy looking bird. Again, that stuffed animal look with the seams running around him. He's okay. He's probably eh, my least favorite out of the set. She has a basket of limes. These are some weird looking limes. But the wicker basket is the same one as orange blossoms. It's just the fruit is a separate interchangeable piece. She has her stand, her green spoon, her lime comb. Some lime ice cream on some leaves. Two interchangeable faces. She has a winking face and a happy laughing face. And this winking face is also the same as Strawberry Shortcakes. So this is the only unique face she has. She has four extra hands, or two gripping hands, or two little wavy hands. She comes with balloons on strings. And these are the heaviest balloons I have ever seen. These are like hunks of lead. These are so heavy. This is just a solid chunk of plastic. It's like, <laughs> they're more like water balloons. Uh, but you're like, how in the heck is she going to even hold that? What's the point? She comes with a separate stand, specifically tailored to hold her balloons up in the air which is silly to me because even the stand even the stand has a hard time staying up and holding these balloons they're so heavy it's absolutely ridiculous the stand wants to topple over as we speak but I guess the intent is that you put it in her hand and her hand will sort of like help hold the weight pop her hat off Ow. Her hat's really tight it's snug on there pretty good her hair looks great. I like her hair. And then, uh, pop her hair off. She only has one unique expression, which is this one, so I'm going to give her this one. Pop her hair back on. Yeah, I'm having a great time. Alright. Lime Chiffon. So, let's get her on her stand. Hope that leg doesn't pop back out. I'm actually going to attempt to get her to hold her balloons. The balloon 
The balloon strings don't exactly want to... There we go. See, with you, without the stand, it's like she's swinging a mace. So let's just bring this stand in here. And the stand's not adjustable. So you really got to have her, like, holding the balloons up high. And you got to position it just so, so that she can hold her balloons. But you got a clear stand just in case you want her to have her balloons. So we're going to give her her basket of fruit. These balloons are ridiculous. They make it so complicated. All right, so she's pretty good. Not the best. There is a lot there. That is a lot. There's a lot of play and variability you can do with these guys. If you want, you can interchange faces and hair and stuff like that if you wanted to. They can all use each other's accessories. And of course, the slug figures, companion figures are pretty cool. I like the wicker baskets a lot. Strawberry Shortcake's one of those properties that you do not see get love much anymore, especially when it comes to the 80s version. So I was really excited to see these. I was like, wow, they're doing Strawberry Shortcake. I wanted to pre-order them right away, but I held off, and I'm glad I did. I saved a little bit of money. $40 is a hard pill to swallow, but that's becoming more and more common of a price for collector quality figures. I feel like they fill it out with articulation and accessory count the quality isn't bad the accessories are fun I like a lot of the stuff they came with but a lot of the stuff they come with is the same as each other like all the hands and the spoons and the ice cream and the comb some of the faces are even the same between each other there are a lot of other characters from the strawberry shortcake franchise that they could touch on I'd like to see this line continue so this has been an unboxing and review of Boss Fight Studios Strawberry Shortcake Wave 1 and I am You Are Supreme Toys. Thank you so much for watching.